So now we are going to solve problem 3.46 from Sadiku book. So the question is calculate the mass currents I1 and I2. So we need to do KVL at loop I1 and loop I2. And let's doing exactly that. Now we have KVL at loop I1. And KVL side that the sum of voltage in a loop is equal to zero. Now we start from this voltage source, and the current is flowing from negative to positive, so the sign will be negative, and the value is 12. And now we have 3 ohm resistance, and the only current that pass through it is I1. And then this resistance here is 8 ohm. The current that passed through it is I1, but we need to subtract it with I2 because it's flowing to the opposite direction. And that will equal to zero. And we can simplify this as 11 I1 minus 8 I2 and that will equal to 12 I think we have we need to add some remarks here so this is V0 V0 is needed to this dependent voltage source and we do KVL at the second loop KVL at loop 2 Again, the sum of voltage in a loop is equal to zero. Now we start from this 8 ohm resistance. We have 8 multiplied by I2, but I1 is flowing to the opposite direction. So we subtract it. And then 6, the only current that passed through it is I2. And now we have this dependent voltage source and it's flowing from positives to negative so the sign will be positive and the value is 2 V0 2 V0 and that will equal to 0 now let's do some little math here minus 8 I1 plus 14 I2 and that will we need to plus it with 2 V0 that will equal to 0 now V0 V0 is here and we we can apply ohm law so V0 is 3 times I1 so we have minus not 3 this is 8 I1 plus 14 I2 plus 2 times 3 I1 I1 and that will equal to 0 minus 8 I1 plus 14 I2 plus 6 I1 is equal to 0 so we have minus 2 I1 plus 14 I2 is equal to 0 we can divide both sides by minus 2 so I will have I1 minus 7 I2 is equal to 0 now let's save this as equation number 1 and let's save this as equation number 2 so we are going to do elimination to get I1 and I2 okay from equation 1 we multiply it by 1 and for equation 2, we multiply it by 12. So we have here the equation 1. I just copy it. 11I1 minus 8I2 is equal to 12. And this one, equation 2, it's 11I1 minus 77I2 equal to 0 
now we can subtract this and now we have 77 minus 8 that will be 69i2 is equal to 12 or i2 is 12 divided by 69 and let me get my calculator for it so here is my calculator and i2 is 12 divided by 69 and that will equal to this number i2 is 0 0.173 ampere or or maybe we can write it as here or i2 is equal to 173.91 milliampere so this is i2 And now we need to calculate I1. So I will plug this value here to this. So I will have 11 I1 minus 8 this value 0 0.17319 and that will equal to 12 now we do the multiplication of this number in calculator 8 times 0 0.17391 okay 11 i1 minus 1.39128 is equal to 12 and we simplify this we can simplify this move this to the right hand side so we add it by 12 and then we divide it by 11 so here is the answer so i will have i1 is 1.21 7 ampere so here is the value of i1 and we we got i1 and i2 okay thank you for watching hopefully i don't make any mistakes bye